The salvinia weevil has been an effective weapon against the aquatic weed giant salvinia. But cold temperatures are an enemy of the weevil. Two graduate students in the LSU College of Agriculture's Department of Entomology are researching ways to help weevils survive the winter in North Louisiana. Lori Moshman is looking at ways to increase temperatures in the salvinia mats. We're looking at row cover fabrics, uh, which are widely used in agriculture uh, to protect plants from frost. Uh, so we're testing those, covering uh, salvinia mats with them and looking at the effect on weevil survival over the course of the winter. She said these covers could be used on a small scale to help a portion of the weevils survive the winter. Her other strategy is to promote plant crowding to increase mat temperatures. Alana Russell's work involves establishing populations of cold-tolerant weevils. So we went to southeastern South America. This is farther south than our original population of salvinia weevils are from. And we actually collected uh, a different population with the hypothesis that they were more cold tolerant. Russell's research is showing that this new population of weevils, which is the same species as the weevils currently established in Louisiana, withstands colder temperatures and can endure cold temperatures longer than the Louisiana population. Russell must collect more data before the USDA will consider releasing the weevil into waterways in Louisiana. But she stressed that overall, the salvinia weevil is doing its jobs in areas that remain warmer in the winter. We want to maintain this, the weevils in southern Louisiana that are working well. You know, we see great results here. But then we're going to release a different population in the north in hopes that this cold tolerant population will, will be able to withstand the temperatures up in the north. Giant salvinia can completely cover a body of water, which has ecological and economic effects. It can alter water quality, disrupt native plants, and limit access for commercial and recreational boating, while also reducing habitat for economically important game birds. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.